Hi, I'm Odo Carrillo, and I play French horn in the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. I'm the last of four boys in my family, and my parents had an idea that each one of us would play a particular instrument. So I think I was around nine when I started playing the French horn. I was pretty small for my age at that time. As a matter of fact, uh, my dad made a, he made wheels, he put wheels on my case so I could roll it instead of having to carry it. That's how small I was. I was able to wheel it to school. My parents had always had these classical music records. They had a lot of uh, French horn records, and so I knew what the sound of great French horn players could sound like. Um, that wasn't what happened that very first day, but I could hear sort of the, the power behind the instrument. It was a f sound that I can really feel. And it's amazing for a little kid to be able to do that. Because as a kid, you know, you're told what to do. You're told you have to do your homework. You're told you have to go to bed at a certain time. But here, you're the one who's in charge. You're the possessor of the power. I could actually play loud if I wanted to, and it would respond to that. I could play soft, and it would respond to that. Not that my ability was great, but at least just some of the power that I possessed was transferring into this instrument. Of course, there were some days where I didn't feel like I wanted to practice my instrument, just like there's some days that I didn't want to do my homework. But uh, I knew that I had to. I knew that it's something that was part of my life. And as a matter of fact, I always thought my practicing sharpened my mind uh, so that the next thing that I would do after practicing, let's say it was math homework, I felt like, wow, uh, I can solve this a little bit easier now. I have the, uh, the concentration is there, the focus is there. The desire is there. I remember one time I played a rehearsal and it went really, really well. And then I had a baseball game. And I remember hitting a home run in that same baseball game. And I remember just being, wow, this was just an amazing day for me. And in retrospect now, thinking about that, I'm sure that the music, having a good rehearsal, having a good feeling of what had happened, helped me on the baseball field. This is a little different aspect of what I do, other than playing music. Uh, I like to work with wood, and here in this basement I've designed a, sort of a woodworking shop for myself. This is the first project I think I ever did, and it's just a basic step stool. And I've made some other things. Uh, there's a music stand down here. It's adjustable in height, and you can angle it as well. This is sort of a trial that I, of trial piece. So not everything came out perfectly right away. It's sort of like being a musician where you have to work at it and sort of um, polish it and refine it because a lot of things that you do in life, they're not going to be hammered out beautifully right away. Playing in a band, you really get a sense of how your part fits in with a whole and how each one of those parts creates something that's much bigger than just your individual part. Everybody has their different roles. It's not a matter of I'm number one or I'm number two. It's a matter of just trying to be a team. I contribute a very big role and a positive role for the group so that without my voice, the group is a little bit lacking. But with my voice, we are collectively a whole unit. Music has given me a whole lot of things, confidence, it's given me great friendships. It's given me the ability to communicate with others. I'm more caring for other people. I'm not sure what path I would have gone had I not gone with music, but for sure I wouldn't have had this language that I share with other people.